Hello everyone, welcome back to Crafting with Janine. Today I'm going to show you how to make this super pretty, super cute bow. They're so easy and I love them and I make them as piggy sets. They're super cute as piggy sets. So we're going to go ahead and start off. So what you're going to need is six pieces of 3 8 inch wide ribbon cut to five inches long. You're going to need two pieces of 7 8 inch wide ribbon cut to three inches long and you're going to need two pieces of inch and a half ribbon cut to six and a half inches long and i like always i will put the measurements and how many you need in the description below along with the in the inches and the metric system because i've had requests for that so I will put that in the description below for you guys. So what we're going to do is you're going to grab three of your 7 8 inch or your 3 8 inch pieces. I'm sorry. Three of those and you're going to stack them together. Lining up your edges. And you want everything all together. And then what we're going to do when we're all lined up is we're going to fold it in half. And find the middle and give a nice good crease. And then once we've got this crease here in the middle, we're going to take our lighter and we're just going to heat here. And essentially what we're doing is just sealing the middles together so that they stay right together in the middle. So we have that. So now what we're going to do is I work from the bottom to me. It's just the easiest way to work. So what we're going to do is make sure my middles are sealed. Let's try that again because those came apart. But nice and good and hot and together. There we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you're gonna pull the three layers apart so that they look like this and they fan out so that the top is this way from you and then the bottom one is this way from you. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this middle piece and we're gonna bring it up behind the bottom one like this. And then we're gonna take this top piece and bring it up behind the two of them. And then I flip it over and I line up my edges so that they're all straight and even like that. And then we're gonna take our lighter and we're just gonna heat them and seal them, the three layers all together so that it looks like this. Now we're gonna do the same thing with this one but the only thing we're gonna do it the opposite way. So the top is gonna go this way and the bottom is gonna go this way. And we're gonna do the same thing, middle one behind the bottom one top one behind the two and then line everything up together all nice and straight and then we seal them all together okay so this is what we're looking at this is what you have so now what we're gonna do is we're going to take our 7 8 inch piece ribbon and we're going to fold it in half and then we're going to take that and we're going to slip it right over the middle of that so we have this looking at us right here now we're going to take this side so if you have it facing you this way in your left hand you're going to take the top one and just bring that down right to here and then you're going to take this one and you're going to bring it right up next to it so that it looks like this and then what we're going to do is make sure everything's all lined up right where we want it and we're going to hold it and we're going to come up here through the corner of this one. We're going to go down with one stitch. 
Go all the way through, and then we're gonna come up through the corner here from the bottom. Now some ribbons are harder to push through depending on what they're printed with, and this Mickey Mouse print is a little bit harder. And now we're gonna go down through this one, and we're gonna come up through this corner. So what we did was we went down and then up and then down and then up again. So we have this right here. And if one side looks shorter than the other, you can shift your 7 8 over so that it works out evenly. So then what I do from here is I just take this and I pull it all tight right here. And then I take my needle and I push it all the way back through all the layers. Once again, some ribbons are harder, so when they're harder to push through, I use my table, try not to bend my needle, I've done that a bunch of times, and just slowly push it down until it goes through. And then we get it through, and we pull it tight. So we have this. And then back here on the back side, I just come through with a couple of stitches just to secure it. And then I knot. And snip. Now this next step is something that I do. It's something I like to do. It is not an important step to you, for you. But I prefer to do it. I think I get a better seal in the middle when I do it this way. So what I do from here is I take this part here. And I take the edge of my wood burner. And I just flatten it out which it's kind of like a double hit on it. So what it does is it makes this flat and then it seals all these layers together. So I already did one. So that's why you needed six, two, and two is so I've already got one side done. So we're gonna go ahead and glue those together. Right in the middle. Hold it for a few. Let it get a nice good seal. And then we're gonna set that down and put it off to the side. And then we're gonna come for our inch and a half ribbon. So for this one, to do this bottom bow here, it's kinda like our double tuxedo or whatever, but it's a little bit different. So what I like to do is line them up. And I want them about, I want this top one to be about three quarters of the way in on this bottom one. Make sure it's even, and then so that I, everything stays in place where I want it, I come over here, and I seal these two together. And then I flip it over, making sure I'm still in line, and everything's even. And I do the same thing on this side. Right there between the two of them, just get them sealed good together. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fold it in half, And we're just going to heat a crease in there just so we know where our middle is. So our bow comes out even. So now that I've got that, and those two came undone, so I'm going to go ahead and seal them back together. So now that we have this and we have our middle, I always take my bottom first. Don't know why, it's just what I do. So whichever way is more comfortable for you. And I'm gonna overlap that middle crease just a bit. Not a lot, but just enough to get it through. And then I bring the top down, just the same. And then for this one, I'm coming up from the bottom, right through the middle of my crease. And I'm just gonna do some up and downs. Just to create my middle. So we have it right there through the middle. And then I just pull tight and wrap it around. 
I'm not going to pull it quite tight yet because I want to make sure that I am definitely down the middle and even. And then I separate them just a bit. And now I'm going to pull it tight. And wrap around a couple more times so that I ensure that my center for this is super tight. There we go. Didn't want that one all the way out. There we go. Like that. And then we're just going to throw a stitch in right through here. I'm going to knot it one more time. And then snip. There we go. Okay, so now I have this. So what I do, I'm going to put a little glue right here. I'm going to take these two connected pieces and I'm going to glue them right on top of that. And hold that in place for a few minutes, or a few seconds, minutes. <laughs> hold it right in place. And then I'm going to come with a piece of 3 8 inch ribbon. And I'm going to wrap the center. So just put a little bit of glue here. And just hold that there for a second. And then... I am going to wrap it around twice. This way I know that my center for this one is super secure. So we've gone around twice and then I just snip, heat seal, can't forget that, we don't want no frayage. And then just a little bit of glue. And then I just kind of put everything back in place once I pinched it and squoze it and then I have these little embellishments you can put whatever you want in the middle there is no specific on how you do this like this one I did a little button deal but I wanted to do Mickey Mouse one so so we just put some glue right there on the back of that and we hold it in place for a few seconds Making sure he's nice and straight. Just like that. So there's that. And we have that. And then alligator clip. And this is a trick that I like to do with my piggy sets, especially when they're ones that have something that makes a difference which way they go on the in the hair. So, so I have a right and a left side. So when I flip them over, my right side, the pinch part is going to be on this side, and my left side, the pinch part is going to be on this side. So when I do it, it goes on like this. Put my glue here and then flip it over and hold it down. And then I let it sit like that until so that the glue dries. But as you can tell, my clips are going differently so that when they go, when you put them in, you're going in from the opposite end so that you don't have one that's upside down and one that's not, if that makes sense to you. But this is how I like to make my piggy sets. So there we go. Make sure I didn't smush anything. Super pretty, super cute. Um, I like this size best. I did attempt a larger one and I did not like it at all. It didn't come out looking as pretty. So I think this is gonna be the size that I do. Once again, like I said, all the measurements will be in the description below along with a link to my Facebook page. That's where I share all my videos. And you can connect with me, ask me questions, request a video, show me a picture of something you're trying to make and you can't just get it right and maybe I can help you out. 
Um, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. And there's a bell right next to that subscribe button. And if you hit that, you'll know every time I upload a new video. And you'll see them firsthand right away. So once again, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and happy crafting.